Hello and welcome back to Rev Modes Plays Elite Dangerous. Here we are in the Furukawa orbital in the Chimiri system. Uh, what we're going to do tonight, I think, is I've been playing around on the Elite Dangerous database again and I'm going to do a bit of trading off there. I found a feature, it's probably been on there a while, but it's the uh, first time I've noticed it. You can actually, on the multi hop runs, you can set in a destination system. And then you'll, uh, rather than just going to that destination system, you'll trade through various systems to get there. So I've set up a little trade run from here at uh, the Chim Chimiri system, and we're going to head on down, or head on over, should I say, because I don't know if it's up, down, left or right, to the 39 Towery system. I thought this would be a good way for us to uh, earn a bit of cash, and get out there and also see... A bit more of the uh, the universe because when you're doing the missions off bulletin boards you do tend to stay in the same sort of area you don't tend to uh, spread out as much as I really like to so and because I you know my main uh, function really is uh, trading but I do want to get out and about and see a fair bit of this uh, giant universe that they've been provided for us so like I say what we'll do is we'll uh, Going to the starport services. You seem to have a swooshy noise when you go into the starport services now. Don't remember that being there before, or maybe I've just never heard it before. So we'll go to the commodities market, and what we are looking for is marine equipment. Marine equipment, there we go. So is that the right sort of price we're supposed to be buying it for? That's no, actually a bit cheaper than the uh, database is saying buying it for so looks like we can uh, fill the cargo hold on that cargo hold at maximum capacity so we'll come out of there and we will go into the navigation and the first system we're going to is the theta indy system so, fastest route, yep, right then. There we go. See you, Indy. Let's lock that one up. Uh, seven jumps off down to that. Okay, so just check to make sure. Yep, we've got the cargo on. We're all fueled up, ready to go. So let's get on his way. Let's get out and make a few credits. And see a bit of the universe. usual thing we'll make sure everything's scanned up as we come through we 
may as well pick up the cartographical data as I come through so you can get, pick up a few more credits that way. Soldier Rex, since the last time I jumped into one of them, I lost my ship. So I'm not taking that risk again. through pretty familiar space at the minute so not really anything to uh, scan at the minute We don't want to be running out of fuel again. We don't want to be doing playing that game. Scan.
plenty of fuel on so hopefully I won't have to uh, go through the rigmarole of fuel scooping. I can't remember if I've got the dual fuel tanks on this one. I can't remember whether I fitted a second fuel tank. I know I had it on my last one after I ran out of fuel. I fitted it on the, the old Type 6 that I got rid of. I had two fuel tanks on that to make sure that I wouldn't run out of fuel again, but I can't remember if I put two on this one or not. I suppose I have to check next time we get somewhere with an outfitters. Apologise if I, you hear me whistling or humming eagle songs. I've just been watching a documentary about them, so I've got a few eagle songs stuck in my mind at the minute. I promise I won't sing because nobody wants to hear that. Jumping into his destination system already. No, we're not. We're getting interdicted. Time to get myself sorted out. I need to knock my shields down. Oh, this shield's knocked down now. Certainly came in all guns blazing. I'm still trying to sort my pips out of my power management when he started firing at me. Target destroyed. That's him gone. And no bounty for him. Okay. Still locked up where we're supposed to be going. Let's get power sorted back out again. And let's get on his way. Shame we didn't manage to get a bounty for him.
Right, we are looking for Levi Montalcini ring. There we go. I know it's just the occasional interdiction that I fight, but my combat rating just doesn't seem to be moving at all. that up there. There's a hazardous extra there's a hazardous extraction side, okay, there we go. Learn something new every day. Just write the name down of his destination system there, just in case we don't get through this full run on this video. So we can uh, program it back in again next time we come in. And, sorry, pick up where we left off. So try to keep the videos about the hour mark if I can. Sometimes it goes over. Sometimes it goes a long way over, but I do try my best to uh, keep them to about the hour. Obviously it all depends what's happening. Like I say, you, uh, if you're in the middle of combat you can't exactly just stop. Always seems to be when you're getting close to the end of uh, recording time that you'll that's when you'll get most of your interdictions.
these things moving around a fair bit relative to me. Having a uh, bit of a tough time keeping pointing at it. Okay, they must be uh, the friendly, so they must be system defence boats. Okay, there we go. Safety drop out. done a bit of trading through this system before seeing as it's a friendly station That seems to be one of the main pushes of the uh, updates we're going to get over the next year is uh, the background simulation increasing the. Uh, I'm having a quick scan, but yeah, we've got nothing illicit on. Yeah, increasing the background simulation, or working on the background simulation to increase the uh, effect that the minor factions can have, even player controlled minor factions. So it could be quite interesting to see what comes of that. Some credits. Let's sell some map there first off. And that's off loaders cargo. Check on the repairs, make sure everything is done. Yep. There we go. And, uh, fuel screw, blast bulb. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, check the contacts. No, no, nothing outstanding there. Alright, the commodities market. And what are we supposed to be picking up here? Yeah, that most British of things, tea. There we go. Right, so into the uh, navigation. And where are we heading off to this time? The LTT9156 system. Looks like it's an independent system, it's not uh, claimed by any of the major factions. Five jumps this time. Right, yep, so we've got a T on. 
The route's locked in. We're all fueled up. So let's get on his way. Type 9 above us there, we'll just let him see where he's going to first before we do anything too drastic. Busy little station is this? Quite interesting getting out of there with all that traffic. Tea this time. That's it, a very British thing to do. Although I will let you know in secret, I am very British, but I cannot stand tea. Just can't do with the taste of it. why when I was in the army I always used to make sure I had a flask of coffee with me because when you're out on the ranges or anything they will insist on just bringing you out huge great urns of tea Well, it's having a cargo hold full of tea, I better keep an eye out for anybody from Boston. Shit, dry. 
actually I can't remember, did that NPC talk to us before he interdicted us or did he just go straight for an interdiction? I think he, I don't remember seeing any chat come up before he interdicted us. by the start. Nope, it now. Okay, Sorry. jumping into his destination system. Been a nice quiet run this time, hopefully it'll stay that way. Okay, so we're uh, off to the Korolev hub. There we go. Okay, must be a bit closer to the stacks. So we're doing a bit of fuel scooping. Speed starting to come up now. We are slowly spinning through space.
Yeah, it looks very much like we're going to get left alone on this run. in this system actually we've got so obviously we've got the major uh, system factions and we're friendly with the new tannery confederacy neutral with all the rest I'm sure I've been out to this Coral of Hub before though. The name certainly seems familiar. That, nah, that, uh, that blip on the scanner is still going away, he's going the other way. That's alright, I thought it, for a second there I thought he was uh, getting it behind me. But he must just be heading out. Getting a bit of getting to with this hub. I'm getting there, maxed out. 
slowing down now make sure we don't go flying past it There we go, safe to disengage. the Empire Party that's uh, in charge of this hope oh, they're not the ones I was friendly with the first scam wasn't enough Data itself, yep, shy 3000 credits worth. And offload my cargo of tea. Let's refuel it. Let's check on the repairs. Yeah, just paint. Just a bit of paintwork damage. The contacts, yeah, but nothing there. Let's have, have a quick look in the shipyard. Oh, I'm looking to change ships. And I've got the Imperial rank for the courier, Imperial Courier. No, I don't want to type 7. 
definitely haven't got the money for a python only 53 million credits short It is only two. For some reason, I thought it said four there. For some reason, but I haven't got four. I haven't got four ships stashed away. Let's check in the outfitters. Anything better than a B four, an A four, but I can't afford it. P4 thrusters, but that wouldn't leave me with much money, I don't think. So, no, right. No, we'll not bother with that. We'll wait until we get to the end of this run before we uh, do any any of that sort of stuff. And what we'll do is I'll call it a day on this video. So, I've had a couple of uh, successful little trading runs there and one little bit of combat, although we didn't manage to get any bounty on the combat, which is unfortunate, but at least we did win. So once again, thank you for joining me on my exploration of the Elite Dangerous Universe. And I hope you'll join me again next time when Rev Modes plays Elite Dangerous.